The name of the movie is Golden Escape. The film begins in Chillong Prison, China. We see a prisoner taking a shower. A gang leader named the Crab enters with his men and beats the prisoner violently. A gang leader named Biao finds that one of his men has been beaten up, so he quickly goes to see who hit him. He discovers that it was the crab and his men who beat him up. Biao challenges him and tells him that whoever wins the fight between them will be the one who will control the prison. But one of the crab men named Zheng intervenes and defends the crab and challenges Biao to a personal fight. Whenever the fight starts, Biao easily beats him up and sneers at him. The crab gets angry and orders his men to beat up Biao. Three months prior to this incident, we see Zheng in the casino with a deranged producer named Si. We find out that Zheng works as a film writer. Si was torturing another writer and breaking his hand because he couldn't write a script for the movie he wanted. Zheng's task was to write the script for the end of the film, but he was unable to write something that impresses the producer. He asks the producer to give him a month to write something good, but he refuses and gives him a period of four days only, and he threatens him with the debts that he owes. He tells him that during these four days, if he cannot do the task, he must pay the debts, and if he does not carry out his words, he will kill him. He returns to his house, and he was afraid and nervous, and he drank alcohol until he got drunk. On the same day a parcel arrives to him. When he opens a parcel, he finds a message from his grandfather. In the letter, he tells him that when this package reaches him, it means that his grandfather has died. He watches the message and sees a map of a prison. Under the map is a letter from his grandfather saying that the family treasure is in prison. He tells him that the treasure is a lot of gold bars. He explains to him on the map how to get to the treasure. He discovers that his grandfather's house was the site of the prison before it was built. After the occupation, the house was demolished, and the prison took its place, and the treasure remained in the basement of the house. He decided to go to Chillong Jail because this was his only chance to pay off his debts. He watches many films and documentaries about life in prison, so he commits a crime to get into prison. On his first day in prison he was tense. He watches a lot of men go to a guy called the Crab. At first, he thought they were going to trouble him, but they had made him a surprise and they celebrated his birthday with him. After the party is over, the crab goes to talk to Jung. He discovers that it is his first day in prison. He notices that he is afraid so he greets him and gives him cigarettes. He tells him that he once knew someone named Jung, but he died, and they had a good relationship. He tells him that they will be friends and he will protect him from anyone who tries to harass him. But Jung was worried and refused to take gifts from him. But one of the crab men comes and gets angry with Jung, telling him that he is not allowed to refuse anything from the crab. But the crab tells him not to talk to him like that because Jung is a new prisoner and doesn't know the laws. Then in the prison yard, we see another prisoner talking to Jung. He discovers that Jung is a new prisoner. He tells him that the prison is divided into two groups. A group that follows the crab, who are people who do not like injustice and are always with the truth and are not afraid of anything. As for the second group, they are followers of Biao, who is the strongest man in prison and very brutal, and those who follow him are people who are afraid of him. Jung watches his grandfather's tree in the prison. He is trying to visualize the map in order to reach the treasure. Suddenly, one of Biao's men comes and grabs Jung in a violent manner. He watches as Biao and his men beat a prisoner. One of Biao's men speaks to Jung and tells him about the laws of Biao inside the prison. Among these laws is that every prisoner is obliged to give the Biao money and cigarettes every month and part of his food daily. He agreed because he was afraid and terrified. Biao tells him that if he does, he will defend him. Biao brings a cup of water, spits in it, gives it to Jung, and asks him to drink it in order to prove his loyalty to him. But suddenly he and his men enter the crab and defend Jung. He tells Biao to stay away from Jung because he is protecting him. Biao gets angry and tells him that he will kill him. So he asked his men to harass Jung all the time. Biao's men put insects in Jung's food and force him to eat. But the crab and his men interfere every time. Fighting between the two groups occurs daily. But Biao was determined to make Jung's life hell. After a week, Jung goes on a warehouse cleaning assignment. This was his chance to get to the treasure's location. Then he goes to the library on the map and tries to find anything that can help him reach the treasure. But he is surprised to find Biao and his men standing behind him. One of them beats him and makes him unconscious. One of the men tells the crab that Jung is missing. The crab goes to Biao and asks him about Jung and tells him that if he tries to hurt him, he will kill him. But Biao is unconcerned and tells him that he will find Jung in the trash. Once they found him, Jung decided to take revenge on Biao. In prison, word spreads that a fight will happen between the crab and Biao. Jung takes advantage of the opportunity to find the treasure while fighting is taking place. He discovers that there is a map that may help him reach the treasure in the secret file room of the prison. The next day, the battle between the two groups occurs. The guards are trying to break up the clashes. Jung seizes the opportunity and steals the key to the secret file room. Then he goes to the secret file room, but when he arrives and is about to open the door, one of Biao's men comes and beats him up. Then we see the crab and it hits this guy, but Biao comes and hits Jung and knocks him down causing the key to fall under the room door. Jung feels that his last hope is lost. The guards arrive and disengage, 
and Jung and the crab are taken into solitary confinement. The crab tells him that he will always be by his side and protect him, but asks him to be violent in order to defend himself, because Biao will take advantage of his weakness and harass him. Jung gets angry with the crab and tells him that he does not want to deal violently with anyone and that he wants his prison term to end peacefully and without problems. At lunchtime, the crab refuses to eat lunch. One of the prisoners gives food to Jung, and he had overheard the conversation that took place between them, so he tells him that what the crab said is true, and he told him that the crab had a brother named Jung and he was related to him, but his brother was killed while defending the crab. After they are released from solitary confinement, Jung apologizes to the crab and decides to tell him the truth about why he was in prison. After the crab found out about the treasure, he decided to help him, in addition, he refused to take any share of the gold. He told him they would help him because he considered him as his brother. They decided to make a plan and their plan was to put crushed wood in the neck of one of the guards, because this particular guard is allergic to wood. So this guard suffers from dermatitis and they take him to the clinic in the prison while he is unconscious, after that they take his clothes. Jung puts on the clothes and enters the room of secret files and he can reach the map of the prison. Indeed he finds the map and discovers the second place they have to look. They go down and they find a wall of cement, and because they had to break this wall, they had to find a crushing machine and also make a noise so that no one would suspect them. Actually, that's what the crab men did. Finally they managed to break down the wall. Jung enters to see the room inside. He finds an old building and then enters a room and finds many tools. He keeps looking for gold but to no avail. When he gets late inside, the crab goes to him. He finds Jung frustrated but by accident he moves a stone and the secret safe opens. They find a large amount of gold. The crab refuses to take anything from him because this inheritance is his. He devises a clever plan to transport the gold by means of machines that transport washed clothes. These machines are parked in a corner in a warehouse outside the prison at the end of the week, and this means the 22nd of the month which is the same day that Jung will be released from prison. At night, they talk about their lives after leaving prison. The crab tells Jung that he will try to reconcile with Biao, but one day Biao punches Jung and reveals the gold he had hidden. The crab was about to kill Biao, but he left him at the last moment. They stash the gold before the guards arrive, and Biao moves the gold to another place. The crab was angry because one of his men had been injured in a fight with Biao. Jung was thinking of the gold that is with Biao. The crab tells Jung that he is selfish and only thinks of gold, telling him that from now on he is not his friend. Jung suddenly saw Si in prison, threatening to kill him if he didn't pay the debt, but this time Biao intervened and defended him. Then he and Biao think of a way to escape together with the gold. Jung tells him that it is impossible for them to get the gold out of the prison, which makes Biao angry and beats him up. The crab was sad because he was no longer Jung's friend. At the same time, Jung and Biao were planning to escape with the gold. Suddenly, the crab enters and tells them that he will help them. Biao refuses at first, but Jung convinces him. After that, Jung tells them of his plan, which is that after three weeks a party will be held in the prison for the anniversary of the founding of the prison, where all the prisoners will be in the prison yard, and he told them that he will be released from prison after three weeks and that he must be beaten by someone before this date. Biao agrees. We go back to the first scene of the movie where we see that this fight was agreed upon between the three. Chaos and violent fighting occur. He tells them that before entering prison he was looking for a way to escape from prison, where he found four ways and that the most appropriate way to escape is to dig a tunnel in the laundry room because it leads directly to the sea. Biao tells them that he will arrange for his ship at sea to wait for them. Jung tells them that they need ropes, so the crab takes clothes and makes ropes out of them. The next step is for Biao to steal the key to the laundry room, which he did, then they made explosive materials for the alarms. They collect batteries from the trash and also toothpaste. Finally the day of celebration comes, all the prisoners gather to sing in the prison yard. At night they start to implement their plan, then the flame falls on the balloons and causes a big explosion. So a big mess happens in the jail. The three prepare to escape, but one of the guards discovers that there are three prisoners who are not present. So the guards are searching, they were trying to escape quickly through the tunnel. Suddenly Jung gets injured but he should have continued. The crab was trying to treat Jung's foot injury, but Biao was trying to betray them and take a knife. Jung tells the crab to run away, but he refuses to let go. The guards enter with dogs to look for them, but they manage to escape. They found the room where the gold was, where they had to break the wall of the room using swamp gas. Indeed, they were able to blow up the wall of the room, as the sound of the explosion was very strong. Jung is about to drown, but Biao and the crab save him. Finally they reach the sea and a boat is waiting for them, 
while they are getting ready to jump off. Biao hits Jung with a knife. A fight occurs between the three, but unfortunately Biao manages to knock them down. Jung asks him to take the gold but just leave them, but he wanted to throw the crab into the sea. When Hu threw the crab, the crab managed to hold onto the rope and Jung also grabbed the rope and saved him. Biao continues to hit Jung on the head with the gold ingot. He was beating them together, but suddenly they unite and drop Biao into the sea. Jung tries to save the crab to the point that he gives up the gold for his helper the crab, when the guards arrive and they and their grandfather decide not to escape. In the last scene, the officer tells Jung that he reported the gold, and they actually found the gold. The gold is now his, but he must give compensation to the prison for the losses we cause. If you want interesting movie recaps like these, like, share, and subscribe to follow us for more movie recaps.